Hey, what's going on everybody? What up, what up, what up? Welcome to the Brawl Gaming channel. Today, guys, I'm going to be on my main account doing some live ladder gameplay, trophy pushing. So let's see if we can uh, get that done. All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Is this a P.E.K.K.A. bird spawn? Because we're getting hit with a P.E.K.K.A. emote. This could be. I'll go with the Barbaro. A Dark Prince and a Lumberjack. What's going to be here? not the best spot to be in because I spent eight elixir here to defend that. That's a good lightning. That's a really good lightning value. You see... Do I barber? What is this deck though? This could be a golem deck to be honest, or it's a graveyard, but I think it's a golem deck. It can't be graveyard because there's a lumberjack in there. But I do think I've seen some golem deck like this before. Um, that's going to be a king tower activation. Because if I had let that go, that would have been so... Oh, what? A P.E.K.K.A. Come on. Really? We're gonna barber the e ways because we want to DPS that definitely. Uh, it's gonna be very tough to stop this. We'll go Nightwitch because the bats will come in handy. Lumberjack here for the P.E.K.K.A. Out of the poison range. Come on, don't don't be a hit, please. Nice, nice. I'm gonna do another King Tower activation. One hit. So there's a poison in there somewhere. I can try to get a good lightning value here. I'm not gonna do a Night Witch until I do this, and then I just light lightning all three of those, right? We want to make sure we don't have to worry about a counter push. And that's going to get some hits on the tower, guys. Very crucial hits. Check that out. Bringing that tower down. Ten seconds to go. This play is going to break through for sure. It has to. How do you stop this? We go Barbarrel here just to distract the goal of Pekka for one hit. And come on, we're gonna Lightning. Is that NATO? Yeah. So that was one of those decks that are just supposed to throw you off. Because I saw a Lumberjack and a Baby Dragon and a Dark Prince. So a Graveyard and a Pekka was never in my um, in my head, guys. Definitely not. Got a really nice game against this match. So 67-48. Let's go back in. Barbaro. Good timing. Could be minor here. Oh, 
Okay, okay. I'm gonna switch lanes, go with the night witch there. And a golden blade. We're gonna keep the offense here going. Hog rider, that's well played. I'll probably get, bring it to the king tower just to activate. I think that's a better blade. It's a little bit too early to just sack the tower right now. Um, road delivery, okay, okay. This should be interesting. We can eat that damage. We, yeah, we can definitely. I've got a lumberjack here for hog rider in the left lane. Okay. This deck is a pretty tough deck to beat. We'll go Night Witch into the left lane. Just a cycle. We might see... Um... Interesting, we didn't see that. Okay, now we go Golem into that same lane, guys. Same lane because... I might get hit with the bats or something, you see? It's happening, but in the other lane. So I'm just gonna NATO that back. And that's all I'm gonna do to it because we have the King Tower activated. And uh, with that, it shouldn't be too much damage. That's a good lightning, right? We're gonna get the Golem straight to the tower. That Lumberjack might have been a force. We're gonna see if I can use a... Okay, okay. It's working out okay. So far, we're good. We're good. Okay, this guy's being really, really annoying. There we go. We'll go with the golem in the back. The next lump, the next hard rider, we're just gonna have to block that not take too much damage from that one okay come on 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 Alright, so with that win guys, we just got a new season highest. The 67, 77 is a new season highest. So um, those are three games that I did live and I'll show you guys some of the replays because I'm going to chill a bit at this new season highest. Um, we check out Eagle in one, right? Definitely. So here we got an Eagle from the opponent in the back. I have a Mega Minion. Cool. Night Witch. We'll go Baby Dragon. You know, when you try to do a lightning, make sure that you don't hit the Eagle because when you hit the Eagle, you're gonna end up missing one of the e-dragons or the night witch right since this play did end up costing me a lot of damage because of that battery healer just staying alive under the rage effect it just kept healing and the e-golem got a lot of damage in and we're only up like five or two elixir I, I was thinking we're up like five or six elixir here so i go within the opposite lane go with the golem into the opposite lane and keeps on going into the left lane with the e golem. I'm not too worried about that. We'll go Night Witch behind the golem. And uh, the opponent has an e dragon and an inferno dragon. 
so the best option here is to NATO the Inferno Dragon away from the Golem and let the bats take care of the Inferno Dragon. Once that happens, we have a good chance of taking down that tower. And on defense, all I'm doing is, you see, if you guys like check out the uh, defense, right? I'm doing air troops because I don't want the batter healer star healing the units for the opponent. So if you do air troops, the batter healer can't really heal. So that worked out for us. We took out that right tower. I NATO away the bats from the Night Witch, letting the Lumberjack lock onto the tower, and the opponent just does not have Elixir here to stop this push. So that was really, really well played towards the end. That NATO pull on the Inferno Dragon really saved the game. Uh, these are... This Ice Bolt. Let's check out Ice Bolt. So I see elix one Elixir Skeletons. I'm assuming it's either 2.9, 2.6, or 3.5 Ice Bolt. Those are the three main decks that run one Elixir Skeleton. So a nice wizard. I go into it with the Lumberjack. At this point, you know, I was thinking it's either Ice Bowl, it could be Graveyard, right? Definitely. So I cycle a Barber and we are back into a cool. And you want to do it in front of the tower because otherwise they can NATO it away and you and then the expo locks onto your tower. That was a misclick here from the opponent. The three licks in NATO just did nothing. It was probably meant to be a Tesla, but I'm cool with that. Night Witch here on my part was definitely a little bit too aggressive. Well, we're about even on Elixir. So another one key thing is, um, if you don't have the Golem in your cycle, um, what you want to have in your cycle is uh, a Barber Lightning. So if the opponent goes Expo, and you see at this point, I didn't really want to drop anything because if I did, Expo could have been in either lane. It could have been right, it could have been left. So you just wait it out and wait till the opponent makes the move so you see Barbaro the expo and then on top you have to lightning and that easily cancels out expo eight elixir but you don't take any damage and you end up dealing 446 damage on the opponent's tower here guys you see that knight ends up eating so much health off that tower i did not think it was going to do that much hp off the tower otherwise i would have responded to that with something Golem in the back because the expo is out of the cycle. I didn't want to do Night Witch because I knew there's a rocket in this deck. 3.6 elixir ice bolt, you know, runs a rocket, so you, you have to be very careful of that. Here, I didn't use the lightning, I wanted to get that ice wizard taken care of before I do that. And you see the Night Witch the way I dropped it, guys, it was into the rage, so that way, a, you know, it's much faster. And under the rage, guys, the lumberjack got through to the tower the kite was missed with the knight definitely didn't happen and i'll just speed it up at this point the game is basically over so that was ice bow i had another one before that which was a regular expo uh, but we'll check out something else we'll check out we'll check out this golden deck and this will be the last one so this one had a mini P.E.K.K.A, Ice e -Wiz, and a Night Witch and Arrows, um, and something else. You see, I see a Night Witch, I'm assuming, you know, you, you have to start assuming when you see a card what type of deck you're going against, because that will help you out throughout the game. Ice Wiz, so there was no Golem there, so I just cycled a Bar Barrel on defense on my side. We're still trying to figure out the type of deck we are facing. See a firecracker, you cannot go golem into that, guys. If you go golem into a firecracker, your entire push will get shut down. Instead, I go with the lumber and I tornado the firecracker into the lumberjack. And the opponent does mini pepper. So we're about two licks it down here. But um we haven't taken any damage on that tower. Here comes the golem. I was actually pretty shocked when I saw E-Wiz. Um 
mini pack of firecracker and then a golem so i you know at that point I'm, i figured it's a pretty much of an off meta deck facing so go golem here you want to make sure that you take care of the supporting units guys not the golem you can worry about the golem after but you want to take care of the night witch and keep that pressure going on offense guys because you can't really do much against the golem at this stage um so as long as you tower trade basically check out this tornado for me though it was a horrible tornado uh, it did not activate king tower so uh, instead i should have just gone with the lumberjack on offense rather than defense it would have been definitely more value right there was no value at all in tornado pulling that boom it did not work out but still guys we ended up taking that tower opponent goes with the golem into the right lane we're gonna do the same and you'll see i haven't seen the skelly barrel from the opponent yet and it's about to happen at that point i was like what is this deck i just couldn't wrap my head around it here comes the skelly barrel you know my fifth card was a bar barrel so i just wait for that to come out and i can bar barrel that and tornado everything into the golem because we can use the death damage from that to um, help take out the e-waves the night witch and the firecracker and you see here guys we have a lumber a night witch so if you have enough elixir you want to go with the golem in front you get a lot of value from it one golem out i mean one lumberjack gone you go with another one and you know lumberjack under the rage effect is it goes bananas guys it's like you saying pull it's hard to stop check this out um nato in the e -Wiz and the firecracker firecracker still being so annoying but the mega minion and the baby dragon got the job done good game all right guys i think i'm gonna end this here thank you for tuning in thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed those gameplay this was pretty good this one was uh, a lot of bms happening in that game really glad you took that one and um i'll catch you guys in the next one bye now guys peace and guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button like and comment down below let me know what you guys think and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye now peace